We're here in Shinnok Dairy Farm in um, middle to late April and we'll just we'll do a quick review of how the year has gone so far. Calfing has been very good. A lot of cows calfed in the first six weeks. I suppose as good a spring as we've experienced, and that's a general comment around West Cork, as good a spring has experienced. Uh, conditions were good for grazing. If anything, um, when we came to the end of the first rotation, there was probably too much grass around and a lot of people have hit that situation are now over it. For the first time in a long, long time, I suppose we saw uh, bales being cut uh, late last week and early this week, which was right because you need to get, just while we're on that, you need to get whatever ground you're going to be grazing in the third rotation, you need to get that set up for that now. So if that means you had, you know, there was, you had strong covers, which you obviously have come out of at this stage. Uh, so as we're filming this last week, you know, there's farmers cutting uh, some paddocks now, so it'll be ready and available there in 21 days time, and that was perfect. Great spring. Um, all we needed really was grass and meals, and it was the right thing to put as much meal as you need to put it into cows in order to prevent putting in silage, because no matter what grass was like, and there was some high covers out there, it was still better, and high covers being two and a half thousand, maybe three thousand, they were still better quality, better for milk production than feeding silage. So people were maybe as high as five, six kilos of ration, and, and that grass, and it has driven production. Small little point here, for slightly less cows than last year, these ladies behind us are delivering, delivering a thousand litres of more milk a day into the bull tank and much the same milk solids. So it has been a tremendous spring. So t topical at the minute now will be if there isn't uh, all the fertiliser on for silage, it's time to finish it off and top it up. Uh, you're talking about for first cut silage somewhere between 80 and 100 units. And our old guide would be if you had a bag of urea or whatever amount of fertiliser you had on for grazing, the cows more or less took half of that out of the field with them. So if you had say 40 units on, the cows graze it, there's only 20 of that left. So you're topping up the rest then, up to we'll say 90 units, somewhere between 80 and 100 units. The better the grass, the higher you'll go with the units. The poorer the grass, the lower you'll go because the grass just won't have the ability to use all that nitrogen up. So if you had slurry on, slurry going on in damp conditions is adding as much as about 10 units per thousand gallons. So if you've got two, two and a half thousand gallons, good thick slurry on, there's about another 20 units. So in practice, you might be keeping half a bag of the nitrogen, say 20 units. There might be another 20 units of, of, of nitrogen on in the form of slurry. So you're adding somewhere between 60 and 70 units to fully top out all you need for silage ground uh, on, good, on, on, on good ground. The other thing, and if you notice these cows behind, we haven't started yet. At this, by the time you see this, we'll be tail painting cows because it is worth doing what we call pre, pre breeding heat detection. So you're starting three weeks before you plan to start breeding the cows, you're tail painting them, you're not putting an awful lot of work into observing, you're, you're coming up to breeding, you're looking at the cows that are still having the tail paint removed, and you're saying, oh, they are now breeding for three weeks, they're having the tail paint removed, you're making an assessment on them. Should you get a vet in to look at them, or are you just looking and saying, look, they haven't enough days after calving, but you're making a decision and doing something about them at the start of the breeding season, where you're giving them every chance to come breeding in the first three weeks, rather than wasting time and looking at them after three weeks. So we're looking behind us here at ground on the second rotation. Um, as I said, with this year's great spring, spring here, we started our second rotation uh, about five to seven days earlier than normal, around the second or third of April. We did have to go back in the week we're in now, which was last week to you, we did have to go back in and graze some ground. We had skipped for silage because it grow, it, it grow slow down there. I suppose the messages from here on out is you're trying to run and around your 18 to 21 day rotation. You're trying to go into gorgeous covers, those either into covers, we're talking about 13, 1400. For everyone else, it's what you'd really like cows to be grazing, that you know they're going to be driving good milk yields and great composition because the quality of the grass is energy and energy drives protein and that's what we're getting paid on. Some people will hit blips at this time of the year where butter fats will go low and proteins will stay high. And often there's very little you can do about it because it's a reflection on the high quality grass you're feeding. Yes, if you want to offer your cows some long fibre, long fibre, groovy way of saying hay or straw on their way into the parlour or out of the parlour. And if, they're, if they need it, if their stomach needs it, they will generally pick a bit of that. 
and it will help their digestion if they're gone too loose. But most of the time, all it's doing is, all what's happening is, they're, they're eating a lot, they're processing it very, a lot, very quickly, and there's a lot of green material coming out the other end, and it's fairly soft, but it's not quite at the scour level, and there's no reason really to be, have any need to be worried about it. If you do think it's going too far, make sure you go back to your co-op, talk to the nutritionist. They can add a bit of stuff to rations, but obviously the level of ration you're feeding will be low, so you won't get a lot of that in. The best thing to do is offer them rough fibre. If they need it, they'll eat it.